Tonight we made these loaded cauliflower bites and they turned out amazing. Be sure you stick around to the end of the video for the full recipe. Start by mashing 24 ounces of steamed cauliflower, add in half a stick of butter and salt and pepper to taste. Once you give that a good mix, add in one egg and half a cup of grated Parmesan cheese. Then you're gonna scoop that out into a greased muffin tin and bake in the oven at 385 for about 20 minutes. Once the 20 minutes is up, pull them out, top it with some shredded cheddar cheese and some chopped bacon. I think next time I'm gonna make these thinner so that way they can come out a little bit more crispy. Once you top it with your cheese and bacon, place them back in the oven on burrow for about three to four minutes. Once they're complete, serve them with some chives and some sour cream. Be sure to check the link in our bio for our recipe group on Facebook. Also, follow us on Instagram. There are moments in life when happy mistakes turn into glorious results, and this is one of them. Mashed potatoes made from potato chips. We want three ounces of potato chips to go with one cup of water, so. We got our chips, now to the Evo. In we go, and then with a big spoon, just get them moistened first because once they get wet, they'll start to break down and that's what you want. Okay, so now after a couple of minutes, you can see, look, I mean, that, that looks-ish like mashed potatoes, but we want it a little creamier. So I've got a quarter cup of half and half, half cream, half milk, if you're gonna make it yourself. Now, now we're talking, dang. And I, ladies and gentlemen, am ready to plate. Let's go. Oh, I love it. Let's go one more. Oh, and the smell. Mm. Food time. Here we go. Whisk together 16 ounces of tomato sauce and three tablespoons of yellow mustard. Transfer into a pot and put over medium high heat. Add two third cups golden monk fruit, three quarter cup water, two tablespoons Bragg's aminos, one and a half teaspoons chili powder, half a cup white vinegar, quarter teaspoon garlic salt, quarter teaspoon salt, and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Mix it all together, bring to a boil. Once it's at a boil, bring down the heat to a simmer and let it sit for 25 to 30 minutes, adding in all of your favorite flavor. After it's finished simmering, let it cool down before you put it into the fridge and you're done. Mmm, boom. Tonight, I'm trying out this keto peanut butter chaffle, and right now I am just warming up my chaffle maker, waiting for the blue light. Adding one egg, one tablespoon of monk fruit, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a third cup of mozzarella cheese, and then we're going to add two tablespoons of peanut butter, and I use the all-natural Jif creamy peanut butter. All right, we're going to whisk all this together. All right, after that's all whisked, you're going to... Open your chaffle maker and you're going to add some cheese to the bottom just to prevent some sticking. You're going to add your mixture in there and then I'm going to put a little more cheese on top just to prevent the sticking on top. And always put a plate underneath because in case you put too much and it overflows, it's not all over your counter. And you're going to cook three to five minutes. All right, let's see if this is done. Add cinnamon and done. We're making easy roasted eggplants and tomato salad. You'll need two eggplants cut to stem, peel, and cut to one inch pieces. Season with olive oil, salt, and pepper and toast lightly. Bake on 425 for 30 minutes. Quickly do the same with the cherry tomatoes. Cut in half, season with oil, salt, and pepper and toss. Add them to the oven and roast for 30 minutes until bubbly. Let's put it together. Combine the veggies, add capers, olive oil, red wine vinegar, salt and pepper, garlic, and lemon juice. Garnish with raw tahini, capers, and parsley. Dig in. I live in my kitchen, but you don't have to. Let's make some low-carb Reuben bites. Place some Swiss cheese on a non-stick pan and bake at 350 for 3 minutes. Remove it from the oven, add some shaved corned beef, sauerkraut, top with another slice of Swiss cheese, and then bake another 5 minutes and enjoy. Today I'm making marinated eggplant about half inch thick. Cherry vinegar. That's it? That's good. Two chopped garlic cloves, some salt, generous amount, some pepper, fresh herbs. I'm doing tarragon and parsley, but you could use 
basil, you could use oregano. Give it a taste. Needs a little more vinegar. And I'm gonna spray it with some cooking spray. I'm gonna season them with a little salt. This is the most delicious, nutritious green smoothie and you won't taste those hidden veggies. Let's go. Two pieces of apple, quarter banana, big handful of baby spinach, handful of cauliflower and a nice splash of coconut water. Blend, enjoy and follow me for more. I've seen people cry while eating this chicken. That's not true, but it's still super good. Now let's go. Starting with some kefir lime leaves and we're just gonna tear this into some cold neutral oil and just turn it on to low heat. Bring this oil to 200 degrees and then kill the heat. Lemongrass, garlic, and blitz for 45 seconds. One of the best ingredients on earth, fish sauce and curry powder. Quarter cup lime juice. The lime leaf oil, just stream it in and blend for one minute. Now the chicken, you see all the grains that are going that way? So we'll cut it in half like this and then slice pretty thin against that grain. Marinade on and give it a little love, my friends. Now cover and marinate for at least three hours, preferably overnight. Uh, what, dog? What? Now soak your skewers in cold water for a couple hours so the wood doesn't burn when it hits the grill. Now just skewer and scrunch. Let's grill. Finish with a little flaky salt and fresh cilantro. Ah! Top notch. Yo, Noah, I love you and I'm out. I decided to share this with you. This is one of the recipes that I've been making since I was 11. People are always asking me to make it and it never lasts. My uncle first taught me how to make salsa, but I told him, I think I can do better. And so I did. First, you take two cans of Rotel and put it in a food processor with about eight cloves of garlic. Then chop half an onion, add about a tablespoon of salt, pepper, red chili flakes, granulated garlic, and oregano. Then slice about six green onions, add those, and stir them in. You have to stir when I tell you. I sometimes add two jalapenos, but I'm only adding one this time. And then you have to stir. Then I chopped up this whole bunch of cilantro, but I'm only using about two thirds of it. And then stir. And then you take six fresh tomatoes, chop those up and throw those in. Then lastly, I go ahead and add two more cans of Rotel, stir, and then you're gonna add in two tablespoons of white vinegar. And then you're all set. This is one of my biggest recipe secrets, but- Visiting my kids, they wanted pulled pork. Normally I would do this on the green egg. Don't have a green egg here. So I'm gonna do it in a Dutch oven. Start by scoring the fat cap. We're gonna use mustard as the binder. Then we're gonna apply the dry rub. Ingredients are right here. Same on the other side. I'm gonna wrap it up and put it in the fridge overnight. Take a pie tin, and cut some holes in it. We're gonna put the pie tin in the Dutch oven upside down. Put the pork shoulder on top of the pie tin, quarter one onion, one beer. A cup of orange juice, about a cup of chicken stock, maybe a beer and a half. Mm. Not sitting on the bottom in all the liquid, it's on top of the pie tin. In the oven at 225 for six to eight hours till the internal temperature hits 200. Look, oh my God, look at how tender. Are you kidding me? Hey guys, tonight we're making low carb chicken nuggets, starting with two pounds of ground chicken into a bowl, followed by two eggs and one cup of shredded cheese. So you guys can season this up however you like. I'm going in with salt, pepper, and paprika. And then after I mixed this all up, it was kind of dry, so I added two tablespoons of almond flour. Then I just formed them into little nugget-sized patties. I have some meat left over, but that's okay. I'm going to sprinkle half of these with Parmesan cheese just to see what happens. And I'm going to throw these into the oven at 400 degrees for 10 minutes on each side. So this is what side one looks like after 10 minutes. I'm going ahead and flipping these over. The cheese didn't really crisp up, but I'm going to salt the other side anyway and then add more cheese. So then I just threw these in the oven for what was going to be 10 minutes, but eight minutes was just right. And tonight I just paired this with a creamy sweet chili dip. It was delicious.
You made the cucumber roll-ups that I posted go viral on Instagram and TikTok. Thank you for that. Today, I'm sharing another version. Let's go. Peel a little bit of your cucumber and proceed to making your slices. Pat it down with a paper towel and transfer them and overlap them onto some parchment paper. I'm adding a quarter of a mashed avocado. Additionally, I made some egg whites in a pan and I'm adding those in. You could use imitation crab, salmon, or any other protein of choice. Roll it up, secure it with toothpicks, and cut in between. I drizzle it with my healthy spicy mayo. Enjoy and follow me for more. Today I'm going to show y'all how to make my 12 minute air fryer dinner obsession. To your air fryer, add one pre-cooked chicken sausage link. This is chicken apple sausage. Use whatever you want. And I slice it into about a half inch thick round. Now add a generous amount of the frozen sweet potato fries from Trader Joe's. This is absolutely key. They are the dreamiest. Now add a veggie of choice. I'm using sugar snap peas, but pretty much anything will work. Close. Set your air fryer to 12 minutes. This is what mine looks like after 12 minutes and you could totally just keep cooking to your liking. So then I plate it and then a key is to add some kimchi on the side right there and drizzle the entire thing with Chick-fil-A sauce. Trust me, you will be in heaven. Last year I made Fab Four shakes for a month straight and replaced my breakfast with it and I lost 16 pounds in a month. Here is a shake recipe that you can use using the Fab Four. All right, eight to 10 ounces of your favorite milk. All right, first fat four ingredient is protein. Get your protein powder. Second is fat. So for me, healthy fat is gonna be my avocado. It makes the shake creamy and doesn't have any flavor. For freshness, keep the one with the core and store it in one of these pods from Aldi. It's like $3 there if you wanna go find it and then put it in the fridge. Number three is fiber. Chia seeds have tons of it. Greens, I'm doing a little bit of kale and then this packet has 34 vegetables in it. Tastes like chocolate. It's my favorite superfood detox. If you wanna try this, message me on Instagram. Parent hack, put this in your kids' milk and they'll think it's chocolate milk, but they got all their servings of veggies. You can add half a cup of fruit. So I'm doing a half of banana. It's frozen, so it makes it even creamier. Blend it up. Grab your straw and go. It tastes like a chocolate carb banana. Follow for more. This is my take on a roasted caprese salad. This is so flavorful and delicious. In a small saucepan, add your balsamic vinegar and a little bit of brown sugar swerve. Keep stirring until this reduces by half and turns into a beautiful glaze. Now take some ripe farmhouse tomatoes and slice them right down the middle. Liberally season them with some kosher salt and some pepper. Now place some fresh mozzarella on the bottom of each half and then top it with some basil. Put the tops of those tomatoes right back on, drizzle them with olive oil, a little bit more kosher salt, and pop them in a 375 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And you have a gorgeous roasted caprese salad. Like and follow for more healthy recipes.